What's up guys? It's uh, doing a little quick little hunt today. Actually, is it considered a hunt? Maybe so. I gotta go back to Mighty Pins. The return to Mighty Pins. Um, the new Spawn uh, Universe comics came out and issue number one, so I gotta see if they have it because Mighty Pins does carry comics in case you guys didn't know that. And um, I'll also, sh you know, shop around, see if I see any action figures because the last time I was there, if you didn't catch my last uh, video there when I was at Mighty Pins, they had a lot of stuff. They were stocked on tons and tons of items. So I figure let's go ahead and head back and uh, pick up that Spawn comic if they have it in stock and see if there's any other cool stuff to see. Let's go. So Mighty Pins is no longer doing, uh, I, thought, I don't think they're doing temperature checks anymore. And they're also not uh, limiting people that are allowed to go inside. All right, guys, so I had to do a little bit of a voiceover because it did have music playing and I did find the Spawn universe number one. I didn't know that they had variant comics. I mean, they got my boy Medieval Spawn there. There was just, it was hard to pick. Which one do you guys think I picked? Let me know in the comments down below. Pause the video and let me know down below. Don't cheat. All right, and here was the McFarlane figures, the DC Universe. I was hoping to see if they had some of the Justice League ones that I needed, but they didn't, but they still had a really good stock. Um, There's some of their loose figures, and then they have some more loose DC figures right here at the bottom, and then they had some NECA. There was some newer NECA stuff in here than the last time I was here. They had some of the Hellraiser figures. At least I don't think those were there. Always loved the old school NECA figures. They were always so awesome. Um, and then here's more of the NECA, Bucky O'Hare, and a uh, mixture of like diamond select stuff that they had a lot of great stock guys and then right over here is more of their NECA a little bit of Mezco some McFarlane and um, some import figures that they had there's that diorama TMNT set this freaking diamond select gallery King Ghidorah PBC statue is amazing and super tempting i still have mine on pre-order on big bad can't wait for that one to come in um and then they had some new uh justice league little statues here the batman one was only 50 bucks not too bad and some little plushies there um here's some of their dc sections in their cabinets i, I didn't see these small superhero figures before they're only five dollars not a bad price um, they had some dc animated series one as well from batman uh, here's the uh, dc direct black lantern or blackest night i have a lot of these these bring back so much memories uh, a lot this whole area just brings me back i mean especially the the blackest night stuff the dc direct stuff because that's when i got back into collecting the solomon grundy was pretty cool same with that one right there look at that look at that swamp thing right there i that is awesome 100 bucks i i would totally get that but not for 100 dollars. that's a great looking figure that batman is pretty cool next to it and then they had this shazam family i'd never seen these figures before and then at the bottom, some more DC stuff, just a mixture of DC. And then here's one of my favorites, the DC Universe Classics line. Uh, this is pretty much the same from the last time when I showed you guys. And then over here, there's some box sets. This was, I think, a $30 Justice League box set, which is pretty cool. They had a lot of box sets there for pretty good prices. I think these ones were like in between $20 to $25, um, the Green Lantern ones too. So... I mean, there was just so much stuff here. I, I, I couldn't show you everything. Um, and then they're like, yeah, you got to look at the top too. The top just had so many figures on, on top of their little Detoff cases. Um, there's some uh, two packs right there. And then some more figures here. And then here's some more DC stuff, some Superman figures. I think there's some Watchmen in the back of there as well. Some Batman, some Batmobiles, some more DC stuff. The Mad TV DC line. I have the two pack of um, Batman and Robin. I think I got from Toys R Us a few years back. And then some animated Superman stuff, some animated DC stuff. And then some more, you know, vintage figures right there at the bottom. That I don't know why that Green Lantern figure is $100. Come on, it's the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern film. 100 bucks, man. Um, here's some more DC direct stuff. And then there's the parallax figure from the movie. Um, some soup cyborg Superman. And then over here, I spotted the DC or the McFarlane Monsters line. Look at these. They had a few other McFarlane figures um, scattered throughout this, this display case. Young Blood. A lot of image comic stuff. Legendary Heroes. Uh, they got some more figures up top. I never heard of these, the 10th or whatever they're called. Never seen those before. Marvel Legends box set. Just so much stuff, man. You really have to take your time and walk through here. Look at that dark side figure. And you got to be careful, man, because you will, you're going to spend a lot of money in this place. And there's those $5 DC animated little figures. I have a bunch of them. I have a bunch of them loose, actually, that I got in a lot, I think, on eBay. Look at that 
old school Venom Toy Biz figures. Those are so freaking cool. I think I own both of those too. There's some of the Marvel section here. Look at that. X-Files Kiss figures by McFarlane. Some old school Mars Attack vintage figures. Look at the goodies that they have here, man. Tarzan, uh, Pink Panther. I think those were there from the last time I was here. The Big Lebowski. That's pretty funny. Some uh, vintage Power Ranger stuff and the Popeye figures that I've never seen. I used to be a big Popeye fan as a kid. Um, they had some 300 figures. That is freaking sick. Uh, by NECA, old school figures right here. I think the original price on that was $15, guys. And then they also had um, Gerard Butler's character, King Leonidas. So cool. Very tempted to pick those up, but eh, don't need them in my collection. It's a great Zack Snyder film, though. And then over here, some King of the Hill figures. I had never seen those before. That was my first time seeing those. That Motaro Storm Collectible figure is so freaking awesome. It's a big figure, too. I've spotted some old school, not old school, but some older NECA Predator figures. And then a lot of the Kenner Alien figures. They were priced pretty good. Some of the aliens were only like $10, which is not bad. I've seen other comic shops try to sell them between $20 to $25. Like that Rip Ripley and Apone was only $10. I think that's Bishop right there. That was a $10 figure too. There's Stan Lee, some Master of the Universe stuff. And they still had a lot of the Simpsons figures on top. Um, it looked like some of the ones that were in the display case were, were kind of picked through already because they had more of a selection the last time I was in there. Uh, some Transformers, and then more Simpsons animated figures. And then over here, I think that was Family Guy, and then Lord of the Rings. And then we have some Marvel Legends figures. They have the um, Fing Fang Foom build a figure. All right, we're leaving Mighty Pins. I got a few items. Let me show you. Let me get to the car, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so I didn't go too bad. I mean, a lot of the stuff that was here was here the last time I was, I was here, like the, the, their stock. But there was more items that they had that I that wasn't here last time. A lot of vintage stuff. A lot of stuff that just brings back so much memories. A lot of image comic figures too. Um, I did good though. I only spent $30. I Again, I wanted to spend so much money in there just like the last time. There's so much stuff I wanted from The Simpsons. A lot of old school McFarlane toys. Um, there were some Funko Pops that I wanted. I didn't really show off the Funko Pops. And... Um, I had to do voiceover because they had music playing this time around. I think it's the first time I've been here where they've had music playing. But Mighty Pins is just killing it right now with their stuff. They, like, I, I'm going to start coming at least once a week because of all the cool stuff that they have here. But let me show you guys what I picked up. So you guys saw already as far as the comic book goes. So I got Spawn Universe issue number one. I, there was like, what, like four or five different variant covers. I had to get my boy Medieval Spawn. He's the one I always loved as a kid. And I had to get his cover version. So I can't wait to read this. Um, I also got two more McFarlane toys. I think last time I was here, I ended up getting nothing but McFarlane toys as well. And um, I ended up getting the uh, the Monsters playset. Now, I have... I'm trying to think of which one I have of these that I have not opened yet. I think it's the Dracula one is the one that I have. And I have not opened that one yet. Okay, yeah, it's right here. No, where is it on the back? Um, is it the Dracula one? I honestly don't even remember which one it is that I have. I'm not sure, but these are all of them right here and the back of it. Um, I don't really, I don't remember which one I have. I know there's two series. I think it could be the Dracula. There's like two or three series of these. So I got this one. Um, they had the Wolfman one, but I was holding off on it for now because I didn't want to spend too much. But I got the, um, this one here is the Frankenstein. So I got this set right here, which I think is pretty awesome. And uh, there's the back of it, same type of packaging. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a horror kick right now. We're almost to Halloween. We're getting a lot of horror reveals. So I can't wait, man, I'm so hyped. So that's all I picked up. Nothing too expensive. Again, $30, not too bad. Got these two McFarlane monster toys, smaller miniature figures. And then I got me my Spawn Universe number one, which is what I was looking for. If you guys don't know, I am a big Spawn fan. So I had to get this bad boy. And then when I went to Fat Collectibles, this is still sitting in here. I forgot it was in here. I ended up getting this spawn figure as well. Um, but definitely check out Mighty Pins. And if you're ever here, let, let them know. Seha Man, if you never heard about the store, Seha Man, you know, told you about the spot. And it's not a sponsor or anything, but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna start coming here at least on a weekly basis because of the cool stuff that they have. So I recommend you guys hit this spot up. It's very, very cool. Um, one of these days I'll come with my with my good camera, my vlogging camera, 
and then I'll do like a full on video in here. I wanna do one of those shooting styles where somebody comes and films me and I walk around showing you, you know, stuff, but I'm gonna have to probably ask them for permission on that one. But let me know guys what you guys think about my pickups, what you think about the store, if you saw anything cool in there, and if you picked up anything recently comic book wise too, because today's Wednesday, new comic book day. Let me know, we'll see you.